Hi guys, it's Steve from Steve Ship Stuff. Today I'm going to show you how to ship, um, not one of my favorite items to ship, um, but occasionally when I find them cheap enough or I find them in large lots I've already purchased of something else, you don't want to just throw them out. So I generally list them and then I'll ship them out. So today that item is collector plates. Now I'll tell you, my mom loves to ship these things. My mom loves to buy these things. I hate them just because they're so easy to break. So I don't like to ship breakables when I can, especially if they're not a whole lot of money. You don't get much out of them. Um, in this case, I bought these for a dollar. I sold them for $12. So again, they're not a huge profit, but if I find them you know, fairly cheap and I can find a bunch of them at one time, then I'll buy them. But anyhow, let's get to the shipping of these. These items are kind of difficult to ship just because they're breakable. Just like any other breakable items. So let me adjust the camera here and we'll get to it. Okay, so you guys can see I have a couple things already laid here. I got my plates. Actually, I actually have two plates. <clears throat> um, they're basically the same size, so this won't be too difficult to ship. I have uh, put some bubble wrap, actually two layers of bubble wrap between them. And then um, I put the other one on top and then I I just used a pair of scissors to trim around the edges because the next step is really what I think helps get this thing where it's going um, safely is we use pool noodles. Um, big thick foam pool noodles, you know, the ones you just throw out there in the pool and hang on to them and float around the pool. So what, I, what we use these for is to give us really good cushion on the side and it also brings the plates up off the bottom of the box that we're going to use. So let me show you how we do that. So first things first, I'll just take the scissors and I will just cut a slit right down through the middle. Of the bubble of the full noodle. And then we'll just use this piece right here to go around the edges all the way around. Until we get back to our other side. And then we got to kind of guesstimate where we're going to cut it off. Uh, it's going to be about right here. And again, we're just using scissors. You can use box cutters. Works just as well. But uh, that's what I had handy was a pair of scissors. And then all we're going to do is wrap this thing back up. All the way around. Just like that. Make sure our edges underneath are all pulled out real good. And I'll just take a piece of tape. Don't want to tape my fingers. So I'll take a piece of tape. I just secure it across there. I can do it a little better here once I have it secured the first time. And so there you now see we have the plates. They get a good bit of gap on the top so that nothing can get down on them and smash them. Now the bottom is not as well protected because it comes a little bit, you can see it's pretty close to the, the bottom, but it does get us off the bottom a little bit. And now all we'll do as well as a double layer of bubble wrap down there. Actually, we're going to add two down there on the bottom just because, like I said, the bottom is sort of in contact. Not, not too much. You can see we close nicely. I've got a few um, air pillows that we're going to shove in there. I don't know if you guys have access to these, but if you have friends and neighbors, um, good friends and neighbors like I do, they save these up for you. And um, I've offered to go get them from their houses, but a lot of times what they end up doing is just stopping at my house and just dropping them off on the front porch and let me know. And then I have a fresh new set of air pillows. And as you know, these days, 
people are nonstop ordering online. So air pillows, packing material is pretty ubiquitous. Everybody has an oversupply of it in their house when they get their packages. And um, like I said, if you have good friends and neighbors, they'll save those up for you and drop them off for you. So that's all there is to packing these plates up. Just going to go across the top. And as always, boxes, we're going to H tape it. We put the single strip across through there and then we make an H on the sides. Just like that. There we go. We're all done today.